What's up guys, Vinny Vendetta here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be doing some TOA hard. I got a request from somebody to um, go over TOA 80 hard and I wasn't even there yet so I got I worked my way up. Uh, we don't want that. <clears throat> and here we are TOA 80. It's the Poseidon and I'm going to just take you guys through it. I'm going to take my normal team that I would normally use. Um, like I said, I haven't even beat it yet this month, so hopefully we go on the first try. And as we go through it, I'm going to just talk about the monsters that I use. Possible replacements, good TOA monsters that you guys could be building if you're struggling with TOA. And very specifically, we're going to do this stage. So I think um, from now on, I'm probably going to do every 10th stage. I'll do a video on every 10th stage for you guys, so if you're struggling on it, you can kind of come back and look at this and reflect on it and possibly, you know, change up your monsters a little bit or do what you need to do to get through it. So, with that said, we'll get started. Um, this is my normal team, Beretta, Spectra, uh, Mantura, Basalt, and Woonhack. I did a video on Woonhack already, guys, if you want to see him, if you have him. He's a very excellent TOA and TOA hard monster. Um, almost guarantees a stun on everybody every time, as long as they're slowed first. So, I don't want to go too much into it, but there's a video, guys, already if you want to check it out. Um, but let's go over the other monsters here. We have Beretta. Everybody should have Beretta already. I shouldn't even have to go over him. But if you're brand new and you're just starting and you don't know any of these monsters, Beretta, guys, he's fusible. Um, if you're trying to attempt TOA or TOA hard and that's the direction you're moving into in the game, definitely build him. Um, he's very good. He does AoE dots. He uh, decreases the attack bar on the boss. Um, and if you build him to spare, he also has the potential to stun. So very good monster, guys. Uh, definitely recommend building him. And if you haven't already, you need to. Next monster is Spectra, uh, the Fire Griffin. He is a natural 3-star and absolutely amazing for TOA as well. His third skill has the AoE decrease of the attack bar and it slows. And it's um, very good with Woonhack because Woonhack's second skill, if they're slowed before you use the skill, then it's almost a guaranteed chance to stun. Um, other than that, his second skill is a boss killing skill. It does um, damage based on the enemy's max HP and it does a good chunk. Um, so he's going to be our main boss killer along with the salt. And if you don't want to just 6-star something for TOA, he's very good in Dragons as well. Dragon Speed Teams um, used to uh, help kill the boss and decrease the attack bar on the tower so that the immunity doesn't come up. So very good monster. Only a, a nat 3 and you can get his brother, the Wind Griffin Bernard, in the Scenario Dungeon to farm skill it. So definitely recommend doing that. Mantura is more of a unique monster, the Dark Serpent here. I feel a lot of people think he's um, under, I think he's underrated, um, a lot of people don't give him the credit that he deserves. Uh, very good monster, he has an AoE um, defense break and AoE dots, guys, on his third skill alone. Um, and then he's got an AoE slow on his second skill, which when you ruin him, Tinky does a lot of damage. And then on his first skill, he's got uh, beneficial effect removal. So he's got a great kit, great for TOA. I even use him in my Dragon's B10 team sometimes. Um, as a backup because he can take the immunity off the boss and he still gives me the slow on the towers like Spectra and he gives me an AoE defense break like Galleon. So he's a bunch of monsters mixed into one and I think he's great. So replacements for him I don't think there are a ton um, but he just kind of he's here to speed things up. He's not a uh, utility. He's not something that I absolutely have to have. So if you guys have another defense breaker you could use Bella if you'd like. Um, I don't usually like Bella because I don't feel like you need, you shouldn't be bringing like really heavy healers into TOA, um, but Bella is good because she can defense break, she can remove beneficial effects, and with along with her heal, she increases attack bars, so that's, that's a good unit to replace Mentor with if um, you don't have him. You could also use Mav, he's a great utility, he makes things so much safer. Um, by taunting, um, refreshing everybody's skills so that they come up faster. Uh, Mav is the Wind Penguin Knight, in case you guys don't know. Very good TOA monster, recommend building him as well. Next monster, Basalt. Um, the fire, or excuse me, the Dark Elephant. Everybody, Dark Battle Mammoth. Uh, very, very amazing monster. Nothing really compares to him and his kit that he does. Um, I tried to do a 
Fire Frankenstein video and compare the two because the Fire Frankenstein has CC on his first skill as well as an attack bar decrease AoE. Um, but it doesn't really pan out that well. Basalt does three times more damage um, with the attack bar decrease skill and he has a heal and he has a defense buff and he has provoke on first skill. So Basalt's a lot better in, in terms of that. Uh, however, you can use Basalt's brother, the Water Battle Mammoth, um, that has the Provoke on first skill and the um, the defense buff and the small heal to bring in as, as a replacement for Basalt uh, for TOA. And then again, the Dark Towers guys, I did a video on him. If you want to go in depth on that, go ahead and check out that video. Um, otherwise, you can use the Water Towers to fill in his place. Or anybody that just has a ton of CC, oops, that would have been bad if I closed that, um, a ton of CC, so like two skills that are AoE, one of them stuns, and then you could put them on despair so you don't have another chance to spare, uh, another chance to stun, so like maybe Tyrant or something like that. But nothing, I haven't found anything that really compares to him here, and I really, really enjoy him. It makes my run so much smoother. Alright, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm letting people get turns. That should be happening. So, uh, we'll hurry up and kill these guys and we'll get to the last wave. Um, I'll put a time step to you guys will see it by now. Um, just to skip to the boss phase if that's all you're interested in. So, this. TOA are hard monsters, guys. They have so much HP. It's unreal. And then we just focus her, and then we're on the boss stage. We'll start building up our cooldowns, make sure everything's up and ready to go. Alright, seven minutes so far, not too bad. Let's, uh, we'll get our slow on everybody. Oh, we missed one, we missed one, that's okay, we'll probably pick it back up. And, oh my gosh, I did it again. I need to be careful with that, guys, because I'm going to be very upset if I get this boss almost dead and accidentally close my, my app. So we got the Despair Stun on him, and then we put Dots. Let's get an Attack Bar Decrease. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. We lost it. We lost it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back through again. Um, I didn't provoke the boss, which I should have. I was relying on the defense or the attack bar decrease on Basalt's third skill, which he missed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pause this. Um, I'm going to get back up here and then I'm going to start again um, once I get right to the boss stage. That way you guys don't have to watch through everything all over again. So I'll see you guys in a minute and we'll get we'll get this guy. We'll get him, we'll get him knocked down here. So see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we're going to try this again, except it's going to go a lot slower, um, but we tried it out with Beretta a couple times, kept dying on the boss stage, so we're going to take, uh, we're going to take Mantura out, and we're going to take in Mav, it should make it a bit safer, um, but it's going to make it a lot longer as well, so hopefully, hopefully this will work out for us, try it out. So again, I'll put a link in the description, guys, if you want to just skip to the boss stage. Um, but I wanted to show you that I'm switching uh, Mantora out and taking Mav in. Hopefully the increased speed and the extra chance to taunt on the boss will um, keep us alive. Because we were having issues. If I missed a uh, taunt on that boss, he would just he would wreck us. Even with Basalt being super tanky, uh, the boss would just... Um, tear it through them. And I'd literally have to spend every turn on Basalt trying to taunt the boss or the boss would um, kill the whole team. I, did, I could barely even, I didn't even have time to use Basalt's heal. And my Basalt is pretty slow so maybe maybe that has something to do with it. I took off his old runes and put on a new set so maybe the increased defense and the lack of speed is what's hurting me right now. But this team should work. It's just going to take a little bit longer. And feel free to see you guys at the end, and I'll, I'll see you there in a second. And it should work out better, guys. Like I said, 
going to be a lot safer, but we run the risk for a reason. It's just got to last a lot longer, so we have to do well for a much longer period of time. Got our slows. We didn't get a slow on the boss, though. Hopefully we get one with this. Perfect. Let's, uh, we'll get our dots. We will... Let's do this, because I need my towers to be fast. We'll try to provoke the boss. No, no provoke. Oh, come on. Get him. Get him. Perfect. Alright, and we're not, we don't have to wait for a defense break because it's never coming. Let's just uh, keep smacking the boss, get those debuffs on him. Hopefully we can reset his attack bar. Perfect. Alright, we said perfect a lot last time and then we died, so. He's already provoked, we'll just smack him a little bit. And we, already guys, already we can use our waves because we have mana. Let's uh, go ahead and decrease attack bars. Like I said, guys, this should be a lot safer, but we, we, it's going to be um, a lot slower. How did that tower wake up already? Who's going next? Yeah, we're just going to. Okay, we got the taunt. Perfect. And that hurt. That hurt. I don't want to stun just yet, I need to wait for everybody else to wake up. Let's go ahead and just throw a taunt on him just in case he wakes up again. Let's do this stun him. Perfect. Alright, we need to use Basalt for some heals, so hopefully I can get Mav to provoke the boss. Um, let's try to do this stun everybody. Smack the boss. Speed everybody up. Hopefully provoke. Perfect. That way Matt can take a hit. Matt's better at the provoke because his provoke ability also heals him for 25% of his magic. So it makes it a lot, a lot safer because he heals himself as he provokes since he'll be taking a hit. Let's try and slow. Nope. Alright, much better. Let's get a defense buff. Open the boss. Perfect. Don't even need to use that yet. Let's get some glancing on the boss. A little bit more. And let's go ahead and try to provoke just in case Matt misses. Stun everybody again. I'm not sure why this Taoist all the way over here is just a little bit faster than everybody else, but it's kind of screwing me up. Alrighty. So, smack the boss again. Try to. Well, we need we need to slow the boss. Perfect. We'll get to do Beretta's skill again before it comes up. Let's let's try to. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and smack a little bit. This is take a little time. And we're gonna heal. And then we'll try to provoke here. Perfect. And we don't need to stun yet. So smack him. Smack him. Yeah, this should be a lot safer, guys. Um, Map provides a good backup by speeding up your team, giving them their cooldowns sooner, and uh, giving an extra chance for that provoke in case Assault does miss. Just a lot slower, guys. It's going to take a long time to kill this boss. But that's okay. Once all the adds are dead, I'll feel a little bit safer. But with everybody here, we should be able to keep all the debuffs on the boss that we need. Got the provoke, so we're good. Now we can just... We can worry about smacking him, decreasing his attack bar where we can, but not a big deal if we don't. That should be dying soon. Stun him again. Increase everybody's cooldowns, and let's go ahead and just shoot for an attack bar decrease. Nope. Glancing attack break, so I know this is getting really repetitive, guys. Like I said, it's going to take a long time because we didn't bring a defense breaker, but that's okay. I'd rather. Uh oh, we missed the provoke. That could be a, that could be an issue. Let's uh, what did we get here. Perfect. Like I said, that's why that's why it's so much safer right there, guys. Because as long as we, as long as we keep the provoke up, we're good. But you really need both of those people there to to keep it up. These guys should die after those rounds of dots go off. We'll put one more up just to call it safe. 
We're gonna increase our defense because Mav's about to take a hit. Oops, I did not stun them. That's okay. He's still gonna go before they do. Still gonna move before they do. We'll get speed. We'll do dots. Yeah, they should definitely be dead here. We need to provoke. Uh, yeah, let's just be safe and provoke him. I was gonna attack bar decrease, but I really would rather have this take a long time and be done with it than uh, keep trying just to make it fast, but have to do it three times, but then it's not really fast. Start to getting a little bit faster here. We don't have to worry about ads anymore. Did not have a defense buff up. Let's um, provoke. Actually, I'm gonna heal first to try to rely on that. Oh, there we go. That works just fine. Perfect. And we'll just keep working them down, guys. As long as we keep the Provoke on, this boss is never going to kill us. And that Lich is about to die, so... Be good. So now it's just a matter of working them down. Alright guys, just check it in. Um, getting them down. Still going. It's been about 7 minutes. And we are still going. So this is taking a little while. I'll check back in another time when he's just about there. Be able to end for you guys. Sorry. Alright, guys, we're getting in there. He's almost done. He's almost done. It's been about 10 minutes. 10 minutes since all the ads died. 10 minutes just on the boss here. We knew it was going to take a really long time, but we knew we were going to beat it. So, worth the trade off, I suppose. <clears throat> So yeah, this is, <clears throat> it's been a lot of clicking over the past 10 minutes. Come on, finish it off, guys. Let's get them crystals. One more hit to do it. Come to set. Oh, I meant one more of this thing. There we go. Perfect. Beat it. Finally. It took about 20 minutes or so from start to finish. It took a long time. Um, but it was because we took a really safe team. We took Mav instead of our defense breaker. But very safe, guys. We did it. Um, I hope that kind of helped. Um, let me show you... Let me show you Mav's skill real quick since I ended up having a pick him. And we didn't talk a ton about him. But third skill right here, this is what's important. Only takes one skill up, guys. Removes one harmful effect from all allies. Decreases their skill cooldown by one turn each. And increases their attack speed for two turns. It gives them their abilities so much faster, especially when you have them on Violet. Um, you can Violet proc and then even give them like a decrease of two turns on the cool time in, in one move if you Violet proc twice. So really good, really good monster, guys. You just build him super tanky. He's got his Provoke here and he heals himself, and then he's got a stun on the first skill, and he's got an HP leader skill, which I, I don't end up using, but, <clears throat> but he's very good, guys. So that's that's what we did. We beat it with um, Beretta, Basalt, the Wind Penguin Knight Mav, and then we used Wound Hack, the Dark Taoist, and Spectra. So most of them are farmable, guys. They're either farmable or three stars. The only person in that team that you um, can't really get is uh, Wound Hack, which you would need to find some sort of stunner that can do the job just as well, or the water talus, or another talus, because they're pretty decent about reducing attack bars. Um, and then basalt, you could use the water mammoth if you have it. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope that helped. I got some editing editing to do because that took a couple tries with the first team, and so took a little while. About 45 minutes of recording. I'm gonna hopefully scrunch that down to about 10 minutes of video time. So. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow we are going to be buying the Legendary Pack and we're going to do those summons. My girlfriend bought it as well. We'll do a couple summons on her account. And then we will uh, probably work on the raid. Um, I'm going to show where, showcase where I'm at so far in raids and where my monsters are at and what we need to do to uh, improve to get to raid 4 and raid 5. So hope you guys stay tuned. 
Look forward to that content tomorrow. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.